Hey there folks, got another Challenge Cup for Wi-Fi battle for you today against That's My Larios, my good friend from across the pond. Um, uh, he hangs out on the AAX Zat, that's where I always find him. And without further ado, let's start the battle. Um, so he is going to go ahead and his first Pokemon is going to be Throw. My first Pokemon, meanwhile, is going to be Clefairy. Uh, now this Clefairy is the most hilarious Clefairy in the world, as I will talk about later. Out I'm going to send Gligar because I'm just fearing the fighting type move and Gligar should be a pretty good physical wall no matter what he runs. I go ahead and rock climb as he goes for the sub, I hope I can break the sub. Turns out I cannot break the sub and his throw has swagger, that is not going to be... Well I mean, it's actually I'm actually okay with this because Gligar has such great defense and now with that um, boost from the... Uh, swagger, I might be able to actually break through his sub. So here I hit myself in the confusion, he predicts me to break his, through his sub, I go for the rock climb, uh, breaking through his sub this turn, and so his sub's gonna go down, um, and he's just gonna go for another one, and, you know, just, uh, hope that, uh, I can, I'm gonna hit myself more often than I hit him, but that's not gonna happen. I break through the confusion again, and now I have enough, um, attack that I can break through a substitute in one hit. He goes ahead and swaggers me again, just hoping that I'll get hit myself in the confusion, but I'm actually doing a good job of breaking through them. He is going to go ahead and withdraw his uh, throw and go out into his Mawile, um, which, considering I don't have Earthquake or anything like that on this Glagger, I'm going to need to switch out. I go for a Rock Climb. Now, on that plus four, or well, plus three actually, thanks to that Intimidate, um, that actually does a decent amount of damage considering he resisted. I switch out here into my Clefairy, his um, Mawile goes for the double team. Now that's actually okay. Uh, my Clefairy goes for the Rock Smash just to get some damage off and lower his defense. Um, but that's actually okay, so you're about to see. His Mawile goes for the Ancient Power. Um, doesn't really do too much to me. Clefairy goes for another Rock Smash. I decide after this that I'm going to switch up my moves. Um, he has a Dark Gem boosted knockoff, and that's going to knock off my Lumberry. So now note that I had a Lumberry on this Clefairy. That's going to be important in a second. I go for the... Uh, he goes for the double team as I go for the Shockwave. Yes, I've got Shockwave on here. Shockwave is an amazing move in, uh, in, uh, in Challenge Cup. I have no idea why he sends out Chat Todd here. I mean, I've already shown that I have the... Um, I, that I have the shockwave. And when he goes for the sing, I avoid it. I carry safeguard. So safeguard, lumberry. Guess what one of the other moves on this guy is? I've got heal bell on this Clefairy. So this is the craziest cleric in the whole freaking world. Safeguard, heal bell, and lumberry. But the lumberry was knocked off anyway. Just crazy. Anyway, that's going to come Gliger. Um, as he goes ahead and attacks again, I go uh, I go for the Rock uh, Tomb, it's going to lower his speed, um, he's going to go for the Ominous Wind, and I actually take that okay, he's going to withdraw Chata, I was really surprised by that, he sends out Gardevoir here, um, you know, I've got the Venoshock, I have no idea why I went for the Venoshock, um, but it's not going to do anything to him now, my safeguard is down, and I'm like, I have no idea how I'm going to take out this Gardevoir. I don't have anyone on this team who can really do too much to it. He goes for the Healing Wish and takes himself out. It's so like, are you serious? That's just awesome. That's just the happiest thing in the world. I've got a Sticky Barb on my Rotom, um, and that's less than fortunate. But he's going to go ahead and recover his Chata back to full health. I figure he thought, you know, a Pokemon with Sing. That is a great Pokemon to keep around, and I guess maybe his Gardevoir wasn't very useful, but I really had no idea how I was going to deal with Gardevoir. Anyway, my Rotom has the uh, Reflect, and that's going to be nice. Um, unfortunately, that Sticky Barb is taking out a little bit of my health each turn. I go for the Return here. Uh, I, that was a crit, so I'm obviously not very happy. Um, Rotom's just... Its health is dwindling. Uh, I go for the Toxic, so this is actually a pretty good support set. Uh, I've got Reflect. I, I don't think I have Dual Screens, but I have Reflect, and I have Toxic, and um, this Chat Todd isn't going to stay around forever. I'm um, going to want to switch Rotom out here, just because there's really nothing I can do. I send out Vigoroth. Uh, as he goes for the Ominous Wind, which is so awesome, I was actually doing it for the Vital Spirit, um, knowing that he couldn't put me to sleep. My Vigoroth is, get this, a special Vigoroth, and I KO his Chatot with Thunderbolt, the most random thing ever. My Reflect wears off this turn, oh well. Out's gonna come Scraggy, and I, I go for the Rock Smash, uh, yeah, that's really not doing too much. I really sort of switched out, I had, I, um, 
and there was no way to know that uh, Scraggy had high jump kick, but I could have gone out into Rotom, I guess, uh, thinking that he had some kind of fighting type move. Anyway, that sucks. Gonna go out into Vaporeon. Um, Vaporeon's gonna go ahead and go for the Retaliate. It does a decent amount, but not that great. He goes for the Sand Attack. That's not gonna be good. Um, now, Vaporeon does have the single beam, signal beam, that's what I should have gone for first turn. Well, I guess actually it's not super effective because fighting type resists it, doesn't it? Um, so here I go for the signal beam. Um, doesn't do that. Well, it does a decent amount of damage, so Retaliate was an okay move. Anyway, he is going to take me out, and he's got the Moxie, so he's now at, what, plus two? Uh, not good for me. I go out into Gligar. Um, and he's going to withdraw his Scraggy, so that's great because now he's lost uh, plus two boost from Moxie. I was surprised he didn't stay in. I go for the Rock Climb against this Swablu. Uh, doesn't really do very much. I'm going to want to save my Gligar for later, so I go out into Goldeen. Um, he goes for the Captivate, but that's okay. This is actually a physical attacking Goldeen. Uh, it's better moves on physical... excuse me, physical... He goes for uh, an air cutter, doesn't really do very much. I get the Parahax on the Body Slam, that's just completely awesome, and I'm going to be able to take out the Swablu on the next turn. I wonder if that thing had Natural Cure, because if so, he would have probably been better off switching out, especially considering he had this Mawile, which has the Intimidate. Body Slam's not going to do anything against it. Uh, switch out here into my Rotom, um, and this actually proves to be an excellent move. He goes for the Grass Knot, it's resisted, and I'm not exactly sure how this worked, but I somehow gave him my Sticky Barb. So that's great, that's really, really great for me. I go for the Reflect here, um, he goes for the Ancient Power, and I am just going to be sitting pretty now. I mean, that was super effective, um, but he is, his health is dwindling rapidly thanks to that Sticky Barb. I'm going to withdraw here, go out into Goldeen. Um, just to have this Pokemon out when his Mawile dies on the next turn. Uh, Ancient Power is not doing jack. Uh, Mawile is meanwhile down. Ah, uh, hey, that kind of worked. Um, out's gonna come throw. Now, I'm gonna go for the Blizzard. Uh, the Blizzard hits, and I'm like super excited, and then I see it does nothing. Uh, his throw, meanwhile, goes for the Earthquake. That's gonna do a decent chunk of damage, but Goldeen really has nothing better to do, so I'm going to switch out into Gligar, because Gligar kind of walls his throw, and I'm kind of hoping he's gonna go for the Swagger. Um, now, I go for the Steel Wing here. It doesn't really do very much. Uh, go, he's gonna go for the Swagger. I just wanted the, the greater accuracy, which is why I went for the Steel Wing. Um, now my attack is boosted, I'm like, come on, break through, and oh, I have the Reflect Up. That's how I survived that last attack. Anyway. Um, hit myself in the confusion, not good. He expects me to switch out, I don't. I snap out of the confusion, which is great. Go for the rock climb. Um, I'm gonna break the sub for sure. Uh, and now it's just gonna be a matter of what throw I'm gonna do. He goes for another swagger. I guess that's really the only thing he can really do against my glider. And I'll, it's gonna come down to hacks. Can I take out his throw before I take myself out in the confusion? I take myself out in the confusion. That's, that's kinda lame, but oh well. Um, throw goes for the Earthquake, whatever. Uh, I send out Clefairy, I figure I can get off a Safeguard and it'll be nice. Unfortunately, his throw is faster and is going to take out my Clefairy, so, uh, with a crit. I thought, I think I thought I could survive that as well, but oh well. Go out into Goldeen, um, I do outspeed, I go for the Body Slam, and, I'm, and I am going to take out his throw, so that's going to be nice. And now his last Pokemon is Scraggy, and so I'm just hoping I can take one hit from him. Um, no, actually, I outspeed. That's right. I outspeed, I KO with Body Slam before he can high jump kick me, and that is the game. So, great game, that's my Latios. Um, <laughs> I was really lucky in this, and just, I had some really hilarious sets. Um, yeah, I'll see you soon, folks.